Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Race number four, the start of jackpot one, 1,000 meters the distance. It's an MR of 68 handicap and the off time is five past two. A D-class contest, average rating of a 65 and your favorite is Purple Powerhouse at 18 to 10. In darker is at 33 to 10. Four to one about Sakala is Catulo. Seven to one, Drogarati, and then it's 10 to one and better ball those. Now, this is the start of jackpot one, as I mentioned. And uh, Purple Powerhouse, he's knocking on the door for that... Uh, Fifth career victory. He could be a, low, a bit low on confidence. 786 days since uh, he last won a race and he's been run up in his last three starts. Beaten uh, by half a length in his last two starts. And uh, Northern Warrior came through to run a good third just yesterday out at Hollywood Bet Scottsville against slightly stronger company. So that form line has been franked in a way. And uh, I do feel he could be a better horse over the 1200 meter trip, but. Based on his penultimate run, when he wasn't beaten too far behind Griffin Park, he could certainly get into uh, get into the, the scrum yardies. And is he the horse that could just be the ideal roving banker? He is. He's definitely a place accumulator banker. I can't go as far as to say he's a bipod banker because then he has to finish in the top two. But he just continues the trend that he's been uh, uh, you know, running at at his last few runs, then he could just be a bipod banker. But when you look at his last seven starts, you know, it's seven places, four of them second. Uh, whilst he'll be a very frustrating and even a costly horse to follow if you've gone for him on the head. But for the Hollywood syndicate, I'm sure they don't mind. You know, the more horses pay their way to training, the better off for them because they got a number of horses in training. And uh, you need to have the stake money in order to sustain uh, the numbers that you have in training. But this horse seems to pay his way to training. Uh, it looks like the right type of field. You know, once you start doing a process of elimination, you know, I think that's the way I'd like to put it, then you would rather not fancy more of the runners and you can narrow this down nicely. Sikala uh, uh, is Katulu for Clinton Binder. The, the race could work out ideally for him because I've watched all of his races up in car tank. Uh, he just seems to be a very quick horse out the gates. Uh, he's natural when he gets into stride. And when his mind is on racing, like he showed when cracking his maiden, uh, he can run all the way to the line. But his last two starts, he's faded very tamely in the running. But what I like about those runs in car tank is that the form lines have stood up. So even though he's carrying 61 and a half kgs, draw one. We're going to be speaking about a lot of horses that have been done from the outset uh, on horses, you know, taking to the surface or not, especially with these visiting horses. And here's another that you can add to the list. If he takes to the surface, the way the conditions have been of late, quick into stride around the turn on your bicycle, let's go high or silver. That could be the case of num for number one. But uh, number four, Purple Powerhouse. Uh, going to be my place accumulator banker rail an obvious choice in the pick six and then just one more runner you know nothing creative for me in this uh, uh, first leg of the jackpot i think the obvious horse will be number six in darker so if i had to tip them in order of preference uh, you know for a nice trifecta uh, maybe it could land straight line i'm gonna go four six and one I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include one more horse. Yes. Number eight, Cotton Run. I, I just feel the race could work out ideally because Sakala Escatula goes forward. Lightning Jimmy can go forward in darker as where, well. Where would you place him, second or third? In terms of the race? In, in terms of the way I've tipped him, four, six, one. Where would you place number eight? Would you place that in third position, second position? I, I'd say I'd say second, the second or third. Because I, I think at around 10 to 1 in the market, it could be some nice value. And the way the race could work out, he could be running on quite nicely. There's quite a bit of speed here. And the horse like Sakales, Katula, Lightning, Jimmy, they could be made to, to feel their weight of the final bit. Okay, let's try and work out a trifecta. I'm getting yeah. excited about this race because, you know, it's all about when you, when you look at a race and you aim yourself at, at a particular field, uh, then you try and catch it multiple, multiple times. So we've got four runners that we're going to play with, right? Numbers sure. 1, 4, 6 and 8. 
Now, you know me, I'd like to catch. If I've got four runners, I want to try and get this yes. multiple times. So how many runners are we going to include for first? To try and get this with them. Let's try and only put two runners for first. Would you be happy with one and four? Or one and, or four and six? Let's, let, yeah, let's go four and sixties. Okay, four and six for first. Yeah. By one, four, six and eight. eight by first. one, four, six and eight. I'm happy with that. Okay, so that'll be two times three, six, six times two is 12. Right? That's a nice quartet. That's a nice trifecta. Uh, to round off here in race number four. And if Ryle's number eight has to arrive, the 10 to one shot for second, you are going to get a very handsome dividend here. So the trifecta suggested bet race number four, four and six by one for six and eight for second and third. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also I do uh, delivery. Interbet helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town.